So, I've been on the Shinobu train for quite some time now. When she was first released, I was super excited to see this masked green-haired beauty in action due to her passing resemblance to my first fictional crush. Imagine my horror when I found out that she was bad. Yeah, no, Shinobu in release was debatably the worst character in the game. She had a few niches, but everything she could do, fish sticks could do better. So there was really no point in using her. I thought, dang, if only there was a way to add, like, a whole new element to the game that just makes Kuki Shinobu viable. It is so, so sad that that'll never happen. <laughs> Yeah, Dendro saved Shinobu. Or maybe she was designed with Dendro in mind. For those of you who don't know, there's an elemental reaction in Genshin that happens when you mix Dendro and Hydro in your pot. It's called Bloom, and it creates a little seed that can be left alone to burst after a bit, burn to make it explode into a fiery inferno called Burgeon, or, in the way that fits into the context of Shinobu, electrified to create, like, this homing attack thing called Hyper Bloom. It turns out that Kuki Shinobu is one of the top Hyper Bloom triggers, and she can trigger Bloom seeds oh so well. And from off-field, no less. If that wasn't enough, she can heal too. What a woman. The skill that makes this all possible and what makes her dreamy is her E. Sanctifying Ring. Shinobu takes some of her health to heal the active character based on her HP, and do electro damage to the area around her. This skill is what procs the seeds and leads to the big boy Hyperbloom damage. Shinobu's burst, on the other hand, is similar to a red-headed stepchild that is hidden in the closet. In Hyperbloom, it can be useful to break shields, I guess, but it really doesn't do much else. Her A1 and A4 talents are pretty cut and dry too, healing more at low health and increasing healing by EM respectively. The latter talent is actually pretty handy, because if you're building Hyperbloom Shinobu, she's gonna be oozing with EM anyway. The damage that the electrified seeds do is based off of the trigger's EM. So to maximize damage, it's within your best interest to maximize Shinobu's EM. Because of this, you're just looking for EM main stats and substats across the board on your artifacts. Nothing else really matters. Some HP is nice to boost the healing, but remember that EM is your priority. As far as set goes, you're gonna want full flower or full gilded. I'd heavily recommend gilded instead of flower because while flower is slightly better, gilded is more resin efficient. I've been farming flower for months and only get pieces for a character that I don't even have. At least when you farm for gilded and lose the 50-50, you get deep wood pieces for your dendro unit. As for weapons, following the theme of EM, you're probably gonna want to go any weapon that gives EM. Freedom Sworn is ideal, Xyphos is in second place, and weapons like Iron Sting, Umbrella, and Dark Iron Sword tail a bit further behind. Personally, I use Keyblade and I have a few mixed feelings on it. It's nice that it gives HP to boost healing and it gives EM from its passive, but it takes three on-field hits to get max stats on the passive, meaning you have to either stay on-field with Shinobu for three hits, or wait for three 15-second rotations to make the most of the weapon. It's a bit annoying, but I've gotten really great results with Keyblade, so if you're willing to fulfill the condition, go ahead and use it. As far as cons go, the only one I'd say is Earthshaking is her C2. This makes it so that the uptime on her E is 100%, and instead of not 100%. C4 is also nice and C6 can be funny, but C2 is probably going to be the most valuable. Last but not least, let's get into some team comps. A Hydro and Dendro unit are non-negotiable in a Hyper Bloom team because you have to have them to proc the reaction, duh. It really can be any character of each element, but if they have consistent and easy application, they're class. Singsho and Yelan are what I've been using because they're the most head empty, you just press Q and go go go, but Ayato, Kokomi, and even Barbara are good choices as well. As for Dendro units, obviously the Dendro Archon is going to be the best, but Yao Yao, Dendro MC, and even Kole are pretty decent for this role too. If I didn't mention a character you use, then don't fret, they probably work because Hyper Bloom is f***ing broken. The last slot is a flex slot that can be filled by, and I'm sorry for saying this again, anyone. If you need shields, go a shielder. If you want more CC and swirls, go an Animo unit. If you read without hesitation, go Albedo. If you feel like you're not applying enough of an element, go a second Hydro or Dendro unit. Hell, go nothing, and it'll probably still work. That's how confident I am in you. You made it to the end of this video, so you gotta be pretty cool at least. Now go and have fun with your Hyper Bloom Kuki Shinobu, my favorite character. Why, you ask? Oh, it's just cause she makes me a bit... kooky. Thanks for watching my first YouTube video in like seven years. If you like this stuff, uh, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. And if you really like me, lightly graze the subscribe button. It's been smashed far too many times. A special thanks to my $10 and above patrons, Ben, Cabbage, Jess, Libby, UT, Afshan, Austin, Lee, Bino, Lily, Mikon, Minnow, and Wani. I really appreciate your continued support.